Kalari Margam Ancient Secrets for Modern Living The Art of Combat Glory of Expression A Way of Life and Inspiration This is a story of how Kalari Payattu the oriental ancient treasure trove transforms people into warriors even in the modern day India is a land known for rich cultural and traditional heritage The plethora of ancient Indian traditions and knowledge systems were based on tried and tested methodologies. They were scientific and closer to nature. Many of these have withstood the test of time and age and emerged stronger and relevant to modern times. Its ancient wealth of art forms became the backbone of many modern practices. Kalari Payattu is one such art form and is considered the mother of all modern martial arts in the world learning kalari payattu can transform one to be a warrior be it ancient times or now our ancestors watched observed and learned from their surroundings mostly animals their hunting tactics and movements These basic hunting instincts became the foundation of Kalari Payattu movement. Weapons made out of the wood from the forests around and later as the metal was discovered, metal weapons added strength and power to the fighting form. Armed with this repertoire of knowledge, our ancestors honed a system of self-defense that emphasized on knowing one's own body, to control the body, to control the mind. to improve the reflexes to win over with restraint the emphasis was not on destruction but to defend and protect oneself from the onslaught of enemies the traditional training of kalari payattu is conducted in an enclosure called kalari this enclosure has precise dimensions of 42 feet by 21 feet built of mud and other earthy material to conserve the heat and temperature within all seasons of the year the kalari entrance faces east while its southwest corner within features a seven tiered platform called the putara putara houses the guardian deity of kalari and its seven tiers these steps symbolize seven gods and seven abilities each kalari practitioner aims to acquire These seven symbols are Vigneshwara symbolic of strength Channiga for patience Vishnu for commanding power Vadugascha for the posture Tadaguru for perfect training Kali for the expression and Dwakastha Purusha for the sound At dawn every day students arrive at the Kalari on an empty stomach They apply medicated or ayurvedic oil all over their body before starting the day's training. The oil offers coolness and flexibility to the body and invigorates the veins and muscles. They then wear kacha, the traditional kalari dress, a 27 feet long and 1 foot wide cotton cloth. Kacha is wrapped in a particular way to provide the required tightness to the hip and to support the navel region it is believed that life energy is generated from the navel region also called nabhi mula wearing a tight firm kacha around the waist helps strengthen the nabhi mula thus protecting the prana or the life force 